All right, moving right along. Uh, let's suppose you're in object mode like this and you just want to see the wireframe. Hit Z, okay? Hey, write that down on your notes. Okay, uh, let's jump back into edit mode. So I'm gonna hit the tab key and let's deselect things by just hitting A. Uh, I'm in the edge select mode, so let's stay in that. I'm gonna select one of them. I'm gonna go over here and just hit uh, the option key. Hold, well, hold down the option key and click another one. You'll grab that whole edge loop. You know, there is a hot key for that. I can't remember it though. Uh, okay, so now that we've got this whole edge loop over here. Let's hit S and I just wanna show you guys that as I'm doing this, actually, hold on, let me backtrack a little bit there. All right, now let me do it. Okay, so notice that when I'm just scaling this in and out, okay, notice how it's really just affecting that one ring that I had selected. All right, let's get it back to normal here, and uh, I'll just undo that a couple of times. Uh, okay, now I'm gonna do the same thing again, but I'm gonna hit the O key, and what this is doing is it's toggling on this proportional editing. So notice now when I hit S and scale it, it's actually moving more than just, uh, you can see how these ones below it, well, it's kind of hard to identify them. It's moving more than just that ring. It's, it's affecting what's around it. And I can actually, let me hit S one more time. Uh, and before I start moving things around, I'm gonna take two fingers on the trackpad. I believe your mouse wheel will do this if you're using a mouse. See how I'm making this circle area bigger right here? That's gonna affect how the, proportionally it edits it, right? So now when I do this, you can see it, it's really affecting quite a bit more. And uh, you got some really cool options in within here, this proportional editing for how this is, affects things. So you've even got like a random one, right? And watch this, when I do this, do the same thing again. See how it's kind of randomly just a, you know adjusting how some of those are uh, getting pulled in and out. So, you know, you could kind of make some real easy mountain ranges. Let's, uh, instead of scaling it, let me take the G, let me hit G to just move this up and down. And uh, there you go. It's kind of, again, sort of making some mountainous type things going on. Uh, but yeah, you certainly explore all these uh, options underneath there for the uh, proportional editing. Uh, let's see, I guess we'll just leave it like that for right now. Uh, another thing you can do, how much time we got? Oh, you know what? Let's, uh, real quick, let's extrude something. So I'm going to grab, grab one of these uh, faces over here. How about this guy right here? So you notice I can, I can move this guy around. Oh, I've got that proportional still on. That's okay. Uh, but if I hit E on it, it's actually going to make a new or extruded face out of that, right? So see how that whole thing just kind of popped off? I can do the same thing again. Make another one of these guys, move it over here. You know, let's take proportional editing off. Do it again. So I'm just hitting E every time. And, you know, what are we, look at, look at that. What are we making, a tree or something like that? Who knows? But, uh, but I like where it's going. Okay, so, Maybe that's a little teaser of things to come, but it, but uh, just real quick, this is one of the easiest things you can remember. E for extrude, right? Uh, okay, three minutes. Let's shut this one down.